This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in South Richmond. Today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, two-bath, renovated cape. This cape is located here on a well-traveled street. Uh, as I pan to the right, you will recognize my location if you are familiar with Richmond at all. Directly ahead, just a few blocks, we have the VA Hospital. And so if you are a person that has VA Hospital benefits, this, of course, would be a prime location. Uh, this is a very walkable location. We have grocery, retail, uh, restaurants, all within walking distance. So uh, one of the big benefits here of city living. We're also on the bus line and, of course, not far from downtown uh, Henrico and Chesterfield County. This renovated home is a brick, brick cape. We've got new everything, including roof, flooring, kitchen, appliances, paint, uh, you name it, uh, this house has it. Uh, we've got a great classic design and uh, they did uh, some upgrades here uh, that are pretty unique. Special thanks to Brasinda Palmer, uh, who was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at this beautifully renovated home. We of course have a corner lot. A lot of people love corner lots because typically uh, they are often larger and of course you don't have someone on one side of you and that helps as far as uh, a little bit of privacy and of course you get the benefit of some additional parking. Uh, there's not really an issue here in this location with parking because it's a, a lower density neighborhood. However, we do have some parking here on the rear. There is a gravel parking area so you can just simply pull in from the alley and park here in the rear. A really good size urban lot. Of course, it is wide open, no trees. So if you wanted to have a garden, you of course could do so. And we look great on both the front and the back of this home. There are many homes where the back is a little challenged as far as uh, curb appeal, but uh, this one uh, definitely looks good on all four sides. Uh, we're gonna see our screened porch here momentarily. I wanted to talk a little bit more about scammers. Scammers, of course, have been working hard trying to separate you from your hard-earned money. And more specifically, in terms of rental property, scammers uh, will commonly steal pictures from homes that are on the market. Uh, it's happened to me, it's happened to several other agents. And then they will market those online on certain websites as being properties that they are going to rent. And um, from time to time, we'll get a phone call from a suspecting potential tenant and they'll say, hey, somebody's trying to rent your property. And of course, it is a scam. Uh, the scammers, the reason they do this is there's very little chance of getting caught. Most of the time, they're doing it from overseas. And the common theme that they typically will have is they want you to send money without actually them meeting you because obviously they're in another country in many cases and they will come up with an excuse like they are on a missions trip or uh, they're visiting their cousin who's in the French Foreign Legion, uh, or some other far-fetched excuse. So they will also advertise very attractive rents. So the, the old adage, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So just be careful. Uh, all agents know how to determine who the rightful owner of a property is. Uh, it's a good idea to talk to agents uh, if you suspect uh, that a property may be uh, offered fraudulently and they can quickly determine uh, the true ownership and if that person is legitimate or not. Okay, as we come in, we have our family room. And some of the things that I love about this home is we've got these beautiful, rich walnut floors that are absolutely uh, spectacular. And they are throughout uh, the first floor here and they continue up our staircase. Love the detail that we have. These are some things that you just simply don't get in new construction. Directly ahead is our wood burning fireplace and we commonly see those in older homes. Love the detail here at the mantel. Uh, just a really gorgeous presentation. This home is of course staged. It makes it real easy to imagine what it would be like if you were here. One of the choices that the rehabber did on this home, which is a little unusual, went with a darker gray on the walls. And that is common here throughout. Uh, one of the beautiful things about looking at renovated properties is uh, that rehabber will 
kind of bring their own style to the project. And so you won't have uh, any two that are exactly alike, which makes it kind of neat because uh, just like these neighborhoods are very uh, diverse as far as the architecture and the uh, properties and the condition, uh, rehabbers are as well. Okay, let's make our way back to the, we're actually gonna go downstairs. We do have a unfinished basement. I'm gonna show you that first. And then we're gonna come back up and look at the rest of the first floor here. Now I've gotta be really careful here because I'm trying to balance the camera and keep from falling myself. And I was successful in doing that. Okay, here in our finished basement, we do have good natural light as you can see. They're coming through that window. We also have ductwork that is throughout. This is brand new ductwork uh, that's been put in uh, as a result of this renovation uh, and a brand new heat pump. The heat pump is right here. So that's the beauty of a brand new rehab. Uh, you typically will get new systems. That door, uh, of course, goes out to the stairs uh, that take us up to the backyard, electric water heater, and we do have washer dryer that convey. Uh, so you've got all of the appliances here already in the home. That is a sump pump. And so if there were any water challenges, that sump pump uh, takes that water and kicks it right outside. And we can see there's been quite a bit of plumbing work here with these PVC drain lines that's been done. Of course, this home is gonna have modern 200 amp electrical uh, that is right there. Everything is labeled, we'd like to see that. And let's go on back upstairs and see what else we have in store in this beautiful home. A lot of people love to have these unfinished basements. They just are fabulous uh, for storage. Our ceiling's a little lower on this one, so I don't think there's a lot of potential to, to actually finish it off uh, without going through extensive work. Okay, we are gonna start here in our downstairs bedrooms first. This is gonna be bedroom number one. I just love the way these floors turned out. We do have replacement windows here in this home. And we have overhead lighting in each bedroom. We can't take overhead lighting for granted because there's a lot of new construction that actually is twice this price where you pay extra, believe it or not, for lights in your bedrooms. So it's a nice plus to have them already in place. Linen closet here in the hallway. This is going to be our downstairs bath, full bath. Good looking vanity there. This is going to be a vinyl material on the floor. This is ceramic tile on the tub shower area. Now, I can look at this ceramic tile and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell or not but this tile was actually a different color and it's been coated. I've talked about this before. You can actually change the color of ceramic tile. Many of these homes uh, in the older neighborhoods have had absolutely horrendous tile colors. So instead of ripping out all that good material, a rehabber can be smart and just simply change the color and make it something much more neutral like they did here on this home. So that was a very smart move and still retain that good durable tile in the bathroom. Okay, this is going to be a queen size bed that's in place. And you can see we've got nightstands on both sides and our closet here directly ahead. Back when this home was built, believe it or not, they actually had telephones that were wired. You could not move more than about six feet from the wall. That was probably an old connection for the telephone and the telephone would sit right there. So that's why we have that little nook there. Very common in older homes, uh, but these, uh, these 30 somethings, 40 somethings have no idea uh, what it's like to use a corded telephone, most likely. Um, here in our kitchen, we've, they opened it up and they did a great job here. We've got a dinette right there. I can tell that a wall used to be all right across there. The other telltale sign is we've got a change in our floor design. And we know a wall used to be right there across. They opened it up, uh, did a really nice job because we've got plenty of room here for our dinette. 
and a nice open floor plan. All right, let's take a look here in our kitchen. Our kitchen features white cabinets, white tile backsplash, and a granite countertop. We've got a nice deep stainless sink, a cooktop, that's gonna be a Whirlpool stainless, Whirlpool microwave, and then a refrigerator there in the middle of the frame. Did a really nice job giving us a nice looking kitchen. If you desire more counter space, this is an easy spot here to put a island or a island on wheels. And uh, in many cases, those islands will be a contrasting color uh, to the base cabinets. So very easy uh, to do that if somebody just desired a little bit more storage space. I'm gonna take you, let's see, I don't think I took you into the, into the screen porch. So here it is right here. This is a great space if you wanna get some air but you don't wanna deal with mosquitoes. Uh, I've seen some people put some type of bamboo material there uh, towards the street and that way you could still have a breeze and make something a little decorative yet provide for some privacy here. So a great space here. Uh, we do have a light overhead so if you wanted to be out here after dark, you could of course do so. There, of course, is our outdoor unit for our heat pump. This home is brick all the way around, 100% brick. So that's something we don't see in this price range at all with new construction. All right, let's go upstairs and see what we have up here on the second level. Uh, this is a common theme that I see in these capes. They will use the entire second floor sometimes for a suite. Uh, and they, you could actually do that here. Uh, this would actually be the primary bedroom. Really nice size. Our knee walls are nice and high. Um, I am five foot seven, even though I feel uh, like I'm six five, uh, and I can come all the way to the edge. So very good usable space. We of course have natural light on both the front and the back. So that's a really nice benefit and on the side too so we've got three windows here in this bedroom we've got three closets up here one there two it's going to be here and then a third right here so uh, you can of course use those as needed uh, they are of course through this walkway now they used to have a door here so I imagine that there was probably just two bedrooms up here, uh, but they went ahead and gave us a three quarter bath. This was a smart move because you really need to have a full bath on each level uh, to make the house functional uh, for most uh, buyers. Have our vanity right there and the throne there in the corner. Did a really nice job with this floor plan. And then here to the left, this room could go a couple different ways depending on the, the owner's needs. This could be uh, another bedroom or somebody could turn this into just a big sitting area, uh, maybe a TV, a computer uh, in here. If you have a lot of clothes, you could simply make this a huge walk-in closet slash dressing room. And then what that would do is that would free up your bedroom uh, to where if you wanted to have some additional furniture or a sitting area, in the bedroom you could do so so a lot of flexibility here uh, it is a legitimate four bedroom house uh, but of course you don't have to use all of those bedrooms as such wow what an interesting property i love coming in to these older homes and seeing what the rehabbers have done to transform them into something that's modern that's beautiful and ultimately will make a great home for someone soon if you have questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.